Hi all. Today let's discuss about the date and time functions in SQL Server 2012. So before going to discuss about in detail, let me tell you how to get the today's date. So we have a default function in SQL Server. So the name of the default function is get date. So that get date will help you to get the current date and time including nanoseconds. So the syntax is select get date open and close parenthesis. So click on execute. So once you click on execute, so you will get the output as today's date. 2017, 7, 25, 11, 45, 57, 963 nanoseconds as of that runtime. So this is how we will get the uh, current date and time on the server. It's not the, if the server is located in a different place, you are in a different place. So then it gives you the server date and time only, not your date and time. Okay, next, date time. So date time is a one of the famous data type in SQL Server. It will help you to save the date and time values. Let us assume like a, if you want to store the login time, login date and time of a particular user, you can store it. So if you want to store the birth, birth date of a particular uh, person, you can store it. So you can store the marriage date, marriage date or you can you can store the so login date. So if you want only date, you can store the date or if you want to store the type including them, you can do with it. Okay. So date and time is a kind of famous data type. It used to take eight bytes to store the date and time column. The default format of the particular date and time uh, type is YYY, MM, DDD, HH, MM, SS, NNN. So it, it stores you till the nanoseconds of a particular value. So to show you the example of the particular date time, so I have a table means that's a famous data type is a database is adventure works. So I have a couple of date time columns in that particular database. So out of the, uh, the database having a couple of tables under that I am taking only one table. The name of the table is employee. So under that employee I have a column with a date time as a modified date. So let me show you how the data is stored. So let me run it. Yeah, if you see this. See, the modified date and time is defined as a date time column. So if you see here, the modified date is stored as a y, 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 y hyphen m, m hyphen d, d and all the zeros means it is a kind of hours, minutes, seconds and nanoseconds. So this is how. Okay. So I will talk about the higher date and birth date later point of time. So because now we are concentrating more on the modified date column only because modified date column is a column which is defined with a type of date time data type. Okay. So let me show you some other couple of examples. You see here I have created one sample date is a variable and with a type of date time. Okay. Now I'm assigning get date to the sample date. Okay. So now to see the output of a, a particular variable I'm putting as a select or you can put it as a print either is fine. Okay. So let me run this. Okay, so if you see here, you, you can see that. So date and including these are all. If you see here, you will be getting hours, minutes, seconds and nanoseconds. So this is how, this is a one example of assigning a, a date to the date time, date and time to the date time variable. So I'm, 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 I'm assigning in a different way. So I have a uh, right away variable with me. I'm going at uh, right away value with me. I'm going to assign to the date. So let me run this. So once I run it, yeah, you can see here. So if you see in this example, I did not define the nanoseconds, but when we come to the output, you are getting zeros, three zeros. Okay. So if you, if you're not providing uh, some values in the particular uh, format, it automatically replaces it. Eh? zeros okay even if i don't provide 10 10 45 so it will it will come as a zeros so that's all about a date time so in the next session we will talk about a date time formats and like a date time like if if you want a, a american format how do you achieve if you want some different format how do you achieve we'll see that
next one is a small date time small date time so the difference between date time and small date time is a nanoseconds so here if, let me talk about some uh, storage type like so date time used to take eight bytes but small date time used to take four bytes so there are some scenarios where you don't need to capture nanoseconds but still you need seconds in that time so you can go with a small date time so rather than wasting a, a data space you can go with a small date time so the format storage format of a small date time uh, value is y y y y m m d d h h m m s s s is nothing but a seconds here okay so this is how we define a small date time so let me show you some example like a similar kind of example same way let me run this yeah so if you see this so you will be getting okay so in the same example i'm i'm keeping as a date time only let me put as a small date time okay so let me run this yeah so i here i don't have a milliseconds so this is this also let me run it okay so let me run this okay so let, let me show you okay so this is this is a round of values let me put it as a 10 here okay so this is how it will show you let me remove this So the small date time have some limitations, starting date and ending date. So that is the reason why it gave the error. So, but date time does not have a starting year and ending year, but my small date time having a, some limitations. That's the reason why it got failed. So now it got fixed. So this is a good example of fixing the errors. So while we are writing some queries, okay, now, yeah, if you see here, so I did not define any minutes and seconds here but you can see all zeros because of the format how it stores now the next date type is data type is date okay so date is a data type in the sql server so it used to take three bytes storage space okay so format is y y y y m m d d okay and so it, it used to declare, let me declare uh, one variable date, sample date, get date, let me run this. So when we declare like this, you will get only date. So you don't get a time.